We're back in my new favorite mode in GeoGuessr, Map Runner. We tried this out for the first time a couple videos ago, but we're jumping back in. We're going to continue and see what the maps look like as we move further and further. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the GeoGoose YouTube channel. And I kind of fell in love with this mode, right? With the day it came out, there was a lot of people posting videos about the mode. And thank you all for watching my video on it. I got a bunch of new subscribers from it. So thank you if you're tuning into this one, but I'm continuing with it. Like, I don't know, something about this mode, single player GeoGuessr, unless you're grinding, uh, practicing, it can be a little, you know, maybe dull sometimes. There's not that many game modes. Quizzes are okay, but this map runner mode just combines everything together and i kind of love it so we're just going to continue where we left off we're on i think the third map we're going to try our best to see uh, how far we can go see if we can make it through three four five maps today um and before we get into it quick reminder to hit subscribe a ton of you have subscribed recently we just passed 100 subscribers we're at 108 now something like 20 subscribers in the last few days so thank you very much hopefully these videos continue to do well and i really truly hope that you guys enjoy these videos so um yeah let's just get right into it and, uh without further ado what do i want to do do i want to do the clues map or the flags map it's not going to make a difference we're going to get a circle marker either way but i'm a big flag nerd uh if you watched my flag quiz video not many of you did but if you want to go watch it you'll know i know every flag in the world every country flag at least so uh, hopefully i can get this one in just two minutes let's take a look flags 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 that is the dutch flag oh lux flag i think that's the luxembourg flag um yeah and look at the way school is spelled that's not how it's spelled in dutch uh that's school yeah, in, in Dutch it's school, but it's two O's. So I learned Dutch for a few months. I don't know very much about it, though. It's uh, it's a language that I wish I maybe took a bit more seriously, but um, I know a lot of Dutch speakers just speak English anyway, so I moved on to to Spanish. Uh, I already know English and French, and I'm, uh, I'm getting towards Spanish here. So, Remain, Naumar, Secretariat, Reset. Yeah, this is, a very, this is definitely Luxembourgish. Uh, there's no other language this could be, really. So let's take a look at this sign. Is that in Comic Sans? Are you kidding me? They have Comic Sans here? Uh, okay. So this is interesting. Ooh, this is the shape of something, but what is it the shape of? Are we not in this part of Lux? Let's take a look. What does this border look like? It almost looks like this over here, no? Like, almost kind of maybe like this here? So we could be... Is that water, though? Hmm. This is interesting. Let's take a close look. I mean, it's not going to matter. We got Luxembourg. We're going to get a good score anyway. Water and Geopark, Mel Mellerdal. So if I could find, like, Mellerdal, maybe that would help us out. It's not a big country. Let's zoom in a bit. Um, yeah, I'm not too worried about this, honestly. Uh, I, if I can 5k, great. But, uh, I mean, I'm pretty okay just leaving my marker where it is. I'm not going to lose a ton of points in Luxembourg. Um, Mellerdal, Mellerdal. Yeah, I mean, I don't see it. I, I'm not... I'm not super worried about this. This is probably like, there's, there's probably something here that I'm missing. Like maybe on this side of the map. Like, yeah, you can't really see it though. Anyway, what do these say? Depot Circuit and four. Yeah, there's, there's definitely enough information to 5k this, but I'm not going to. We're going to leave it in Luxembourg City and uh, we're just going to roll with it. See what kind of score we get. Okay, it was north. Uh, we lost 75 energy. That's nothing in, uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. Is this region that shape? Yeah. Yeah, see this region, this province. I, I can see this now. This is the shape of this, I guess, province or state in Luxembourg. I couldn't really tell when I was zoomed in, but that's fine. Um, and let's see what uh, what this gets us. Right, so we get two circle markers. That makes a lot of sense. Um, so let's take them. I thought they were really cool when I used them last video. I feel like I'm going to try using these a bit more this time. I don't know if the times are going to get uh, shorter. Oh, now here's... Look at this, though. Okay, so I see. Ah, uh, well, wait. So, does this adjust? Was this flags at the start? You guys let me know. Maybe I'll look back at this recording and see, but... Was this one minute at the start anyway? Like, if, if I pick flags here, will it give me a shorter time here? And, like, if I pick clues here, would this reduce? I'm not sure. Um, because now the flag is only one minute, and it's restricting my choice. So, the common sense would be to go with clues. But, guys, I'm a big flag guy. And guess what? The, like, there's no reason I would ever choose this path anyway. I would pick one of these two. And I like flags more. Only one minute, so the chances of 5king are much lower. But I feel like just getting the country is hopefully enough. Oh, now that I think about it, I don't know. Now we're going to go for it. I said I'm a flag guy. We're going for it. And we're going to see what this has in store for us. Black screen. Uh-oh, Dominican Republic. Perfect. Okay, we're back in the Dominican Republic. Uh, if you guys remember, we had... Uh, we're up in Puerto Plata once. But this is not official Google coverage. We're going to toss it in Santo Domingo. But uh, no pase se vende private property 
Uh, Presidencia de Moca, Ciudad de Todos, Moca. Moca is right here, yeah, right near Santiago de los Caballeros. So, Santiago de los Caballeros. Um, sorry, my Spanish is still, I'm still working on it. Still practicing, but uh, we're in Moca. Wow, this is taking a long time to load. This photosphere is, is not good. Uh, okay, let's look at the direction of this. Because we're clearly on like a big thing in the middle of Moca here. Oh no, my computer is slowing down. This is, uh, this is not good news. But we're definitely in the middle of Moca somewhere... Fortaleza dos de Mayo, maybe here somewhere. I don't know. We're going to click somewhere right in the middle of Mocha, and I think we'll get a good score regardless. Do we 5k? No, not quite. Well, 49.99. We were just up here. Yeah. Calle Tridimensional. Okay, that's pretty interesting. But we were in Mocha. Luckily, I knew where that was in the uh, Dominican Republic. So, uh, wow, as the computer is lagging a bit, uh, we'll see if I can fix that before we move on to the next round. Hopefully the game runs a little bit smoother. I messed around with Task Manager. I don't know if it's going to work, but uh, hey, when we're on uh, to the next European capital section. Uh, we did really, really well on that flags map. Told you, my flags guy. That was a pretty fun round. The question is now, do we take direction markers or do we double down on the circle markers so we get four? I actually, looking back at the recording of the last map runner video, the direction marker wasn't a general direction. It wasn't like north, south, east, west. It was slight. It is directly this direction. The location was right on the line. I think that's a very useful thing and like one direction marker with a circle marker in my opinion can be extremely powerful so we're taking the direction marker that seems to be the best choice um as we move on to european capitals luckily that uh, restricts our choices uh, quite a bit so it shouldn't be too too bad you see we can only get energy once we get up here uh interesting map choices are you don't really get map choices here except for this round here and i guess maybe the first round but as we move up you have to do famous places, you have to do European capitals, so I mean, I guess we'll go into it. Let's take a look around. John Chris Coffee. Uh, ooh, I don't know. Let's look for a language. Uh, Dressman. Kult Urfolvolting. That sounds very Dutch. Uh, let's move on. Academy Bokandel. Medio Companit. Drottling Gatan. Yeah, okay, so I think this is... I mean, this doesn't feel like Amsterdam to me. I mean, I suppose it could be, but uh, I think this might just be maybe Belgium? Unless I'm way off with this language. That's a French flag. But this is not... There's no way this is France. This just can't be. Oh, this is def... People definitely know exactly what, uh, what this structure here is. Let's take a look at the license plates. No, they're white... Lost plots. Yeah, this is all Dutch, but we have white plates, and I don't see any red tinge for text. Yellow filled in. Oh, unless it's like, unless it's like Sweden. Oh my gosh, am I? Am I? I'm. I'm stupid. Wow. Wow. This is just Stockholm, isn't it? I was like, it sounded Dutch, but something was off because I didn't recognize any of the words. But uh, now that I see the yellow filled in signs, we're over this big river. Okay, I this has to be Sweden. So let's take a look. North, south, we're over a big bridge. Maybe down, maybe here. Well, we're on a walking bridge, though, so uh, we're probably in the middle of the city somewhere. Um, like here, maybe? Could this be this? This makes sense, and we're on the north side of it, so maybe? No, it doesn't really look like it. There's another bridge right to our west. Ah! Uh, I mean, we could be somewhere in here. I'm trying to look around. There's a lot of places in Stockholm this could be. But I think I'm okay just sending Stockholm at this point. Um, I can't believe it took me that long to get Sweden. Uh, kind of embarrassing. But uh, we'll make the guess and we'll see what happens. Yeah, so it was just up here. So that's where we started and we headed north. Where's the river? Where's the bridge we crossed? Maybe I went a different direction. I probably went a different direction, but hey, it was Stockholm. We got very, very close. We only lost three energy, so let's pick a power up. Uh, we got a choice, direction marker or circle marker. We got three of these and two of these. Might as well go for three and three, and we can use them in combination on uh, maybe the next few rounds. So let's move on to famous places, two minutes per round. Let's fly through this. Hopefully, I know this famous place. This is Amsterdam, right? I mean, this just has to be Amsterdam. Or maybe, I mean, I guess it could be Copenhagen as well. Ooh, actually, wait. 
this is Copenhagen. I my my instinct was very wrong as I looked at the houses and I was like, wait a second. No, no, no. This this is this looks more like Copenhagen. So this is Copenhagen has to be um or Copenhagen as I believe it's actually pronounced. So kind of northwest southeast. Yeah, I mean this makes sense. There's definitely a specific spot in uh, in Copenhagen that this is. It's probably this river here or something. Maybe like down on this portion. Uh yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy to send that. This Danish flag, I didn't even see that before I started to think this is probably Copenhagen. But, uh, yeah, like, there's famous pictures of this city with, like, these buildings in it. Like, especially this bright red one. These, these over here, like, everything just feels right uh, for Copenhagen. So I'm actually just going to send it here. I don't need to do any more looking around. It was on the other side. Okay, the, the compass just did not line up at all. But I guess this is the famous part of it. Didn't know that was the specific one. But we got the city. Only lost six energy. Guys, we're flying through this. I don't need energy. I've lost a total of 85 through every single round. We're just going to take the circle markers. And from last video, we learned that the power-ups don't carry over to the next round. So, uh, we can either use cities or fire stations. Cities or fire stations. I mean, fire station sounds way cooler, right? It sounds more interesting. So, we're going to go for that. And we're going to use our power-ups if we need to. Uh, Belleville Fire Department. This is in the USA. Belleville. Uh, let's take a look at the license plates. Oh gosh, okay, I don't know my American license plates, but hey, you know what? We, we said we were going to use the power-ups. We got five circles. Is it, uh, let's just take a look around and get a vibe first. Like, to me, this feels like this region of the United States, like right here. Not really northeast, but dead center, and it is. So let's use a couple direction markers. My first instinct was somewhere in, like, Kentucky. Kentucky, like maybe Illinois. So we're going to click here in Illinois. Oh, and it's up, oh, well, that, that gives us basically a straight line along here, and we can almost just look along this line for, what was it called? Belleville? Belleville. So let's just look along this line for Belleville. I mean, this, it can't be that small a town, right? I mean, maybe it is, but uh, we'll just click somewhere in here, and it has to be right along this line, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. Yeah, this direction marker is crazy. Let's use another one. Why not? We're going to use one uh, over here on this section of the line. Oh, it's even further. Oh, wait a second, though. Maybe this is just a general direction. Because if this line goes over here, I mean, unless it's like right here. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, very interesting. Let's, uh, I don't know. This is this is cool. I like using these power-ups. Let's use another circle. And we're going to do an interesting thing where we're going to kind of just like overlay like this and see if it's still within the circle. And it is. And oh, I like that. The circle adjusts to the Mercator projection. That's pretty neat. So we're in like this small region here. The problem is like you can't see. Like once you once you put the circles down, it splurs everything. And I think that's a problem that they're going to have to fix. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to 5K this. But uh, it looks like we're in Michigan. I think we have to be pretty much in Michigan. Uh, let's look around Detroit, see if there's a Belleville. I mean, there might be. Uh... I don't know. I mean, since they don't carry over, let's just toss another direction marker down. So yeah, we're between this one and this one somewhere here in Detroit. And let's use another circle. We're using every little bit that we have here. It's within that circle. And uh, yeah, let's use another one. This is crazy. I'm just going to basically try and narrow this down as much as possible. So we're in this stretch somewhere. <laughs> and I can't see it all. I can't see the text. Um, but I think that's definitely narrowed <laughs> down enough. Using my amazing four-leaf clover strategy, trademarked here, the four-leaf clover strategy. We're just going to send it. I'm not going to be able to find Belleville. Um, there it is, right there. I mean, really doesn't show up on the map that that to high. I guess it does. But yeah, we were so close to it. Uh, we only lost 16 energy, and that'll be it for the first one. Let's click finish. Um, yeah, so saving your power-ups to the very end can definitely make sure you get through i don't even think it was possible to lose because i had so much health but it's kind of funny using them for that strategy the four leaf clover but uh let's try and get one more map done before this video is over this is an interesting choice i don't know the average scores of these maps but they only give you one minute on the world map i mean no matter what we get a thousand energy back i feel like capitals is a good choice because based on the surroundings you can usually make a decent guess and we get three minutes i feel like this is the safest choice especially since we get a thousand energy after this so let's get right into capitals come on load load schmitz.lv so that's latvia i believe uh so i guess we're just in riga let's pop in riga let's see if we can 5k this um that's 
I mean, it's extremely useful. I don't know why I need three minutes per round. If this can also... Uh, wait a second. That's not LV, that's LU. That's a yellow plate. We're in Luxembourg. I was like, this doesn't really feel like Riga. But you never know because... Uh, when you look at so many capital cities... Wow, a Luxembourg theme. When you look at so many capital cities around the world, there are certain parts of them that can look very much like each other. Like these big buildings. I mean, the architecture in a lot of places in, in Europe, like... It can be confusing if you don't know what you're looking for. So we're in Luxembourg, um, pretty obviously, right in Luxembourg City this time. We're not any further north. So I'm going to look for this, like, I swear to God, there's a Notre Dame Cathedral everywhere uh, in every big city. There's one in Montreal. There's one in, I think, Ottawa. There's one in Paris, obviously. Um, what's this road? Ah, yes. Blur. Let's take a look. Um, Place d'Armes. There's a place to those, one of those in Montreal, too. Wow. Um, all right, let's look to, for Place d'Arme right here. I think we're probably just right here. Uh, but let's go back to the start because we had we had to head uh, a bit west to get there. So we're on an east-west road with We Heart Travel. And Place d'Arme is east-west. Okay, so maybe we're like up here. Uh, if we can see a We Heart Travel or Schmidt. I mean, we're probably here somewhere, right? I, I, I don't know. I, I, it seems pretty simple. Let's go back west. Yeah, heading west, we get to this big place here. But let's look, see if we can find an intersection. I mean, it's three minutes per round. What's this road? Um, it probably says on that sign. Rue Chimé. Place d'Arme and Chimé. This is Chimé, right? Yeah, it definitely is. So we're... Okay, well, let's go back. Uh, we're going to 5K this. I'm, I'm not... I'm, I'm, I need to 5K. I mean, if I can, I will. So let's head west again. I don't... So if you look... There's an alleyway to the south, and that's there. So we're, like, here, and I'm confident sending that. I think that's fine. That's about 5K, I would say. Yeah, very, very close. Uh, 5K, 11 meters away. Let's move on. As we pick up the 1,000 energy, we're faced with another choice. Clues, signs, or flags. I don't know if this is a... Ooh, there's a new power-up up here. Oh, I need to get to that. But I, I don't know if it's adjusting to my gameplay or not, because does it... Can it tell that I'm good at the flags maps? And it's, like, forcing me to do them in a minute? That's interesting. Um, but no, this round we're going to go for signs because this has appeared a lot. Uh, all of these obviously just lead to a thousand energy. This one's appeared a lot. So we might as well take it and go. La Nuity. Let's take a look. Uh, Orléans, this is France. Uh, let's take a look at the road angle. Uh, this is very much France. Very east-west, slightly north. Uh, Orléans is going to be south on the A28. And Paris and Chartres is directly east. Um, Paris is here. Chartres is... Orléans is there. Orléans, Blois, and Le Mans is south. Blois, yeah, and Le Mans. So those are on the exit to A28. So where's A28? So A28 doesn't actually go through Orléans, does it? A28 goes here to Le Mans. Bordeaux is also down there. Bordeaux is down, like, here, though. Yeah. So Paris and Chartres are straight east on the A11 slash E50. And A28 is here. Let's see if we can find the A11 or E50. N12. See, this is going to be... Oh, there's A11. There's Chartres. Okay, so Chartres is also along A11. So we're probably like here somewhere. But why would Le Mans be south? Let, let's just keep moving. Le Mans is on this exit. So so this seems to be where the A50... Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Go back. Go back. I just saw a sign. Where's that highway marker? I saw a highway marker. Didn't I? Did I not see that? Am I dreaming? There it is. Am I dreaming? What is going on? I swear I saw a highway marker. There's one up here, I guess, maybe? Um, no, okay. But this might be where the A28 meets the A11 or whatever. A20, yeah, 28 and 11 cross over right here. But the problem is, as you're heading east... No, no, there is an exit there. So are we just, like, right here? Do we 5k this? I don't think so. I, I, I'm actually a bit further back than that intersection. Uh, oh, but look at that. That would make sense. So I'm actually like maybe there. That could make sense. Does this road angle like line up perfectly? It kind of does. I mean, why not, right? Why not send it? I think this is okay. I mean, regardless, we're going to be close and we get a thousand points right after this. This could be a 5k. And it is. That's a 5. Ooh. 
yeah it is a 5k perfect we 5k the round with signs on a highway in france so pretty happy about that let's uh let's collect our thousand energy that we don't need and move on we're faced with a choice again we're not taking big cities because we want this new power up we need to take this jump see what it does which means we need to pick either clues or european capitals um i don't know let's uh let's flip a coin heads is what heads is european capitals tails is clues okay heads is capitals tails is clues it's clues this looks very important geographic center of the united states oh i don't know where that is though i mean i can make a decent guess obviously but i assume it's the continental united states so let's take a look so if we head east west let's just fill the united states basically up on our screen to make it like dead center so it should be like here right this this looks about right oh gosh geographic center of the united states i actually don't know where this is and i don't know if that counts alaska and hawaii um it doesn't see oh it does though bell bell Fourche, south dakota wow i'm glad i read so i guess it is a little further north because of alaska bob that's kind of crazy so it said Belfourche. Let's take a look for Belfourche. See if that's a place. Um, well, I mean, it is a place, I think. Uh, regardless, though, we're in South Dakota somewhere. Crow Creek, Pine Ridge. <laughs> I think we're going to be okay no matter what. Oh, Belfourche, right here. Look at that. So we should find Geographic Center of the United States, the monument. Um, well, we're right on this like compass, and that isn't really could be there it's not really showing up on the map though looks more like a museum i mean could this be what i'm looking at i don't know uh where's the building i mean the building is to my south so yeah it makes sense that we'd be there um interesting okay so since we've basically 5k that let's just zoom out and does that make sense as the complete geographic center it doesn't make sense for the continental united states obviously but if you include hawaii which is right here and alaska and you fill the whole screen with the united states like this yeah look at that that makes perfect sense i mean obviously it's it's the perfect center they calculated this but that's pretty cool i i didn't know if it counted alaska or hawaii um and once i obviously saw the map it it did but uh, yeah very cool so let's move on and see what this jump power up does grant you the ability to jump over one map use it wisely to bypass a difficult challenge so oh but it only allows me to go this way so I, I can't jump to distance marker, but I can jump straight to getting a circle marker and then moving on. But distance marker is something I don't have yet. So can I save my jump or do I have to use it here? I'm going to save it. I'm going to play the Europe map. Uh, I got 10,000 health still to mess around with, but I want to see what this distance marker does. So we're going to play Europe. Ba -ba -ba. Okay. So, uh, oh, website right here. Let's take a look. See uh yeah i mean greece pretty obvious babulas is this just athens does it feel like athens that's a question i actually can't answer because i don't know what athens feels like i've never been there did that say ass don't want to get demonetized um gif gifrgos i think asos pan uh pandrophobi yeah i don't know uh I, I i can't really read greek that well but it's europe and i feel like hedging middle greece is not a bad idea i mean athens on its own is not a bad idea because it's pretty central in all of greece especially if you get something down on crete um but yeah i mean we'll, we'll look around for some more clues does this road line up with anywhere in athens though oh jeez there's a lot of roads in athens where's like the center of it i guess down here right I mean, yeah, like, uh, no, uh, yeah, hold on, let me adjust it, there we go. Kinda does, kinda doesn't, actually, uh, this might not be Athens, we're gonna leave it here for now, but we're gonna take a look at some other places. Uh, man, I, I feel like the location's been here somewhere, but I don't know where it is, I took a look in Patras, but I don't really see anything, we're just gonna leave it in Athens, and, uh, and hope for the best here. Yeah, it was Thessaloniki, yeah, that makes sense, um... Yeah, look at that. Yeah, the road angle's perfect. It was on a main road, basically. So, wow! I lost 2,000 energy for that. Wow. 
I guess the Europe map's really unforgiving. Holy crap, okay, maybe I need to be paying more attention. That's scary. Obviously, we're going to take the distance marker. That's what we went to get, I assume. Yeah, it shows the distance to the correct location. Cool. We have lots of power-ups. Okay, so we can either choose to play fire maps or we can jump it. I mean, I'm not going to save the jump for the last round. That'd be that'd be boring. So what we're going to do, we're just going to jump it. We got the power up. It doesn't carry over. We might as well use it. Who cares about the, oh, I got to play every single map. No, we're just going to use our jump. We have it. There's no other place to use it. So we're going to go into this final cities map with our power ups, our distance markers, everything. And we're going to see what we can do. Valor Supermarket. This look, that's, wait, is, yeah, are we in Japan? Wait, that looks like Japanese. Everything looks like Japanese. This is Japan. 100%. Okay, so this is awesome. Um, actually, the only power-up we have here is this distance marker. Now that I look at it. So, uh, let's take a look around. We got three minutes. We're in a big city in Japan. I will say it feels cold. One thing I don't know about Japan is, like, the guide wire metas, stuff like that. Um, so maybe this thing will help me out. I will say this looks cold, though. To me, this looks cold. Uh, and we got two distance markers. It feels cold. Why don't I just place one down in Hokkaido, down near Sapporo, and see what happens. 962 kilometers away. That's a lot. Wait, so hold on. So the distance from Athens to Thessaloniki was about 300. So if I go over to Japan, that means we're like down here somewhere. Osaka, Tokyo, Nagoya, maybe even Nagoya. Uh, if, my, if my distance calculation is right. I mean, let's take a look, right? We can have them both on the screen. This distance was 300. Yeah, that could feasibly be 900. Um, okay. I don't know, uh, like, I I'm sure there'll be something to tell me where I am. But hey, you know what? There's probably not going to be much English, and I still have, I still have this distance marker. So, since I'm thinking Nagoya makes a bit of sense, let's just use it to head into Nagoya and see, yeah, oh, 15 kilometers away. So, we are, we are just in Nagoya. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, there you go. So, the distance markers really, really help out if you're trying to narrow it down. I'm really glad I had those, and I didn't guess in uh, in Sap uh, near Sapporo on Hokkaido. Uh, I mean, I think I would have had enough health to move on anyway, since we have 8,000, but it's always nice to get a close score, right? So, no point in dilly-dallying. We're just going to guess here in Nagoya, and uh, yeah, we almost 5k'd. It was just right there in Nagoya. Uh, 19 energy lost as we can hit continue, and we can cross the finish line. I've completed this run. Time to move on to the next. Man, that was a ton of fun. I love this map runner. Oh my gosh, there's even more power-ups. I might have to... Oh, look at this one. This is so much longer, but uh, unfortunately, we ran out of time for this video. But if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. I love making these videos for you guys, and I'm, I'm really glad you guys are enjoying them too. I'm Geogoose. We'll catch you in the next one.